without faith it's impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. He is. He is. He is your what? He's your healer. He is. He's your deliverer. He is. He's your miracle worker. He is. He is. Not Pastor Jay. He is. He is. He is. God is not a man. Everybody say God is not a man. So whatever he is to you, he says, I am that I am. Whatever you need me to be. What do you want God to be in this season? Oh, y'all looking at me funny and still around here sucking on lollipops and don't have a clue. And the Bible says, and that he is a rewarder. Do you have a reward? He only rewards those who are diligent. Those that study to show they self-approved. Those that are processed. If you ain't been through nothing, how are you going to be rewarded for something? They don't give everybody a purple heart in the military. Come on, somebody. Unless you a warrior, unless you've been on the front line, unless you overcome death and face death and conquer death, they ain't giving you no purple heart. If you ain't got a limb gone, a finger gone, a half a face gone, why would I give you a purple heart and you ain't been willing to pay the price? And the church want rewards but don't want to pay the price. Tell me what you've given up to pay the price to be rewarded for being blessed. You, listen, listen, your healing depends on your reward. Your reward depends on your sacrifice. So what are you sacrificing now when your health is good so that you can receive your reward of divine healing? I'm trying to figure it out. And the problem is the church been playing mamsy pansy. That's what Apostle Kim Malone like to say. Mamsy pansy. We play mamsy pansy with you and you never get your fullness of the blessing of God. You get part of the blessing. So you get healed for 30 days and you back sick again. And healing is supposed to be to eternity. I'm going to give you two lifestyles you can choose to practice. I'm going to give you two lifestyles you can choose to practice. Number one, you can live by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, for we walk by faith. We know the word, but when you're going to live it. And see, a lot of us choose to live by sight. What does it look like? I don't know. Do you know that there's so many trillions of, when you, in your eyesight, there are trillions of things that your, your mind can remember. And do you know it's only 10% of what you actually see in your eye that your, eye, your mind remembers? Out of trillions of, of, of images in your mind that you see. Right now you're seeing trillions of images. And your brain can only retain 10% of it. So what happens to the other 90%? It goes into your spirit. And so when you begin to see with your spirit, you see with the fullness of what God has ordained for your life. See, a lot of us only can see from a 10% image, and that's why we only use 5% of our brain. Oh, it's so good right now what's coming out of my mouth because I'm seeing with 90% really what God is doing in your life. But until you catch up with time, until eternity invades time, you will never understand the images that you're seeing in your eyesight. That's why it's so important to retain it and not just retain it but capture it in your spirit because it's your spirit that gets the revelation of what God is showing you. Because you can only see in part. Start a business, I don't have no money. Because you're going by what you see. But if you capture it in your spirit, if you receive the vision, if you receive the business in your spirit, if you can receive the deliverance, if you can receive the healing, come on somebody, if you can receive it in your spirit, you'll see it in the fullness of time. The other lifestyle is to live by faith. What lifestyle are you living? Are you living by sight or are you living by faith? Are you living by sight? Are you living by faith? Are you living by sight? Are you living by faith? I'm preaching to millions of people right now. I see people out there in the audience that look like Hispanics. They look like Africans. They look like Asians. I'm just preaching not by sight. I'm living by faith. And the characteristic of faith says you're preaching to nations. People, I don't even, the translator can't even catch up with me right now. What I'm saying because it's flowing out of my mouth because I'm not living by what I see.